Everybody, listen. Um, I went to Benny's yesterday, and uh, the reason I went to Benny's was that I was looking for some beer, obviously, duh. Um, and on the web, though, I believe that the website is called beermenus.com. Uh, they said that, uh, you know, when I searched for black lager, which is what I like, black lager, or also known as Schwarz beer in German, they said that this new Belgium 1554 is a black lager. And on their website, which I'm looking at right now while I'm holding this uh, empty bottle of new Belgium 1554, it says, uh, and this is from the website, it says, a surprisingly bright taste and a dry chocolatey finish, one evocative of dark brews enjoyed in Belgian taverns 500 years ago. Uh, and it's listed as, a, underneath 1554, it says black lager. Not a porter, not a stout, it's 1554. Okay, that's fine. I uh, had this with dinner about uh, 15 minutes ago. Yes, this is very good. This is a very, this is a, a very good black lager. It comes very close to uh, the Guinness black lager that I've been screaming for over the last few years that I haven't gotten my hands on yet. Um, black lager appeal, appear, appears to be seasonal. However, some companies or some breweries like Uinta in uh, Utah, which I, uh, which I reviewed, uh, Shiner in Texas, uh, and now, of course, New Belgium. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's a... Um, are they part of Fat Tire? I don't know. But this is, this is the, the brew, New Belgium. Now, the weird thing about this is 6% um, alcohol by volume. I, I really shy away of anything more than maybe 5.4, 5.5. Uh, because it ends up giving the beer a communion wine taste. Uh, it says here on the beer, a surprisingly bright taste and a dry, chocolatey finish. One evocative, well, just like what it says on the website. Uh, brewed and bottled by New Belgium Brewing of Fort Collins, Colorado. 100% employee-owned. Huzzah. Um, you know, served, chilled, obviously. Um, enlightened dark ale brewed with spice. Listen. Um, if you've ever tried uh, Guinness Black Lager or Sam Adams Black Lager, actually Sam Adams Black Lager was the first time I ever had a Black Lager, and uh, I couldn't find Sam Adams Black Lager, so I, uh, the, the, one of the local Jewel uh, supermarkets had a um, Guinness Black Lager, which is even better. But if you uh, if you're uh, hankering for a brew that will give you as close to Guinness Black Lager as gets. Uh, New Belgium 1554 is it. Um, it had about, um, I, I, I poured half the bottle into a glass. Uh, I got about a quarter head, of, a quarter of an inch of head, so that's fine. I'm, I'm not a big guy of, uh, you know, a lot of froth in the beer. Uh, dark chocolatey color, of course. Uh, the taste did not taste like communion wine, which is what a lot, of, when, at least to me, when a lot of beers have a very high alcohol content, they start tasting like communion wine, and that high alcohol content overpowers the flavor. Uh, I like this. This is good. I mean, obviously, it doesn't take the place of, new, of a Guinness Black Lager. Nothing can. And hopefully, this coming fall, uh, I'll be able to um, pester my local binnies to uh, get me some of that. But uh, in the interim, I recommend New Belgium 1554. Uh, it's, it's close. It's close to Guinness Black Lager. I like this. This is good. It was good. I had it with dinner about 15, 20 minutes ago. So uh, give this a shot. It, it works.